today's video I'm going to be talking to you about how to look after wisdom tooth extraction. I've got some brilliant tips to share with you, so keep watching. Before we get started, have a little read of this. Just a little disclaimer before we start, I'm not a medical professional, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dentist. Always seek the advice of your professional doctor or dentist. Following tooth extraction, I'm purely speaking from my own experiences that has worked for me and I hope you find these tips very useful. So the first thing I did was book an afternoon appointment and the reason why I booked an afternoon appointment is that I knew I was not going to eat. Because I knew I was going to miss dinner but again if you have any health conditions or underlying health conditions which means that you can't not eat or if there's any daily medication that you normally take and you would need to take it I suggest you skip this step if you're generally fit and healthy then it shouldn't be a problem so after the tooth extraction that you've had depending on the type you've had you may or may not get stitches I didn't get any stitches in mine your dentist will normally give you a swab gauge and I recommend you keep it in for at least 45 minutes to an hour I kept mine in for an hour and a half and that worked really well the last one I had taken out I took the gauge out too quickly I ended up getting what they call dry socket which means it's going to take much longer to heal because the blood wouldn't have clotted very well Try to keep your mouth as clean as possible. While you've been at the dentist, they've been putting all sorts of things in your mouth and you're not gonna feel comfortable when you get home. And to do with the um, bacteria or anything else, a lot's been happening in your mouth. So what I did was when I got home, I made sure I rinsed my mouth. So I recommend you can get mouthwash and what which one was really good for me was this one, this Oral B. And as you can see, it says gentle, no alcohol burn. So what you, the last thing you want to do is use something harsh when you've just had an extraction you, you, your mouth you want it to feel comfortable you don't want to feel in any you don't want to add to the pain so that's a very good one and also you might want to avoid Listerine the adult version because the adult version has got alcohol in it which will also produce that burn and sting so I recommend if you if you like Listerine as a brand if you get the children's version, as you can see, there's no alcohol in the ingredients and it's the alcohol 
that causes the burn and the sting. You want to keep your mouth as clean as possible. So what I did was I bought a new pack of toothbrushes because you don't really want to use your old toothbrushes because you don't know how much bacteria might be on them. So best thing to do is get yourself some brand new toothbrushes and I recommend this Oral-B pack and medium strength. These brushes are so soft, they won't irritate the area that you've just had your tooth extracted and you won't feel any pain. The brush is very, very gentle. You can even use it to brush your gums very softly and the inside of your mouth, the roof of your mouth and your tongue. It's very soft on the tongue too. You can also use salt and warm water to rinse your mouth. Gently rinse your mouth. Do not put too much salt in it use less than a teaspoon full of salt. And again, if your salt intake cannot be a lot, please consult your doctor, find out how much salt you're allowed. And if your, if your salt intake is not allowed to be too much, I suggest just stick to rinsing your mouth with the mouthwash that will be just as effective but the salt water is very effective too that gets rid of the bacteria and stops the bleeding on the night of the extraction as the injection starts to wear off the numbing injection in the site where the incision was made you will start to feel pain but that will disappear by the morning it's only the first day so it's still going to be very raw so expect to have a little bit of bleeding and while you while you're sleeping <laughs> if you're anything like me this is so embarrassing if you're anything like me and you dribble while you're sleeping I suggest get a piece of tissue like this and just put it at the side of your mouth and the side of your face on your pillow. You'll be amazed what you'll find on it in the morning. Providing you don't dribble, you're all right. <laughs> I'm really lucky that I did put this tissue on my pillowcase because when I did wake up in the morning, lo and behold, I found a little bit of blood on the tissue and if I had not used a tissue that would have been directly on my pillowcase. So after ensuring that my mouth was very clean, I only drank water for the rest of the night. I didn't eat any food to allow the extraction site to form a clot. Um, if you have any medical reasons why you cannot stop eating, then I suggest that you skip this step. Make sure you eat and take your medicine or have anything advised by your doctor on, as you do on a normal day. Listen to the advice of your doctor or whatever the dentist told you. And if you're fit and healthy, I'll advise, yeah, don't eat for the night and just Drink plenty of water and then eat first thing in the morning when you wake up. So the next morning when I woke up, I saw just a minuscule bit of blood. There was still a tiny bit of blood left. But um, then I brushed my teeth and my tongue is normal. And I avoided brushing the 
extraction site, I just gently brushed my mouth. So when you're brushing your teeth, make sure you do it gently, very, very gently. And when you're rinsing your mouth and spitting out, do it gently. Everything must be done in a gentle manner to avoid dislodging the clot. Then after I brush my teeth, I used the Oral-B mouthwash and then I had some soup to eat. Um, so make sure whatever you're going to eat the very next morning, make sure it's something soft that you have to, you have minimised minimal <laughs> minimal chewing you don't want to be chewing too much to avoid irritation the important thing is to keep the extraction site as clean as possible you don't want to get any food stuck in there or lodged in there that could cause infection so after every meal rinse gently either use your mouthwash or the salt water rinse by day three the bleeding has completely stopped so you can resume your normal activities normal meals that you eat but again i'll stick to the more softer side of food avoid chomping down too hard that could irritate the site also just repeat the steps after you eat make sure you rinse your mouth you can even if you don't want to use the mouthwash or the salt water rinse you can even just use plain water as long as no food is left over in your mouth that could get stuck or lodged in the extraction site just keep your mouth as clean as possible and just keep repeating the steps everyone is different everyone takes longer to heal than the next person or quicker to heal than the next person this this particular extraction of my wisdom tooth this one took two weeks to close up And the previous one I had taken out because I didn't I took the swab gorge out too quickly and had a dry socket it took way too long to heal that one took about I think three months for the gap to close up for it to form a clot and close up because it was dry dry socket but with these new instructions if ever I have another wisdom tooth extraction, I'll be definitely referring back to this video, <laughs> even for myself. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching my video. Really appreciate the time you spent with me here today. If you'd like to see more videos like this with more handy tips, please subscribe to my channel. Hope to see you on the next video, guys. Thank you very much.